Good afternoon, everybody. We're here in the uh, Recovery Headquarters McShin Foundation. And uh, today we want to spotlight um, some interns, particularly one right now. Like we have a good class of interns right now. And uh, we asked them to do a lot, very quickly forced into a position to like start interacting with people pretty quickly. And um, a lot of this class is really shining. And in particular, uh, Miss Kim that we have here today, she's been a particularly shining star in the internship. And uh, we just want to spotlight her today. And uh, Kim, we just got a couple of questions for you to get through. Like, how did you get to, you know, McShin for internship? Like, what appealed to you about McShin for internship? Um, actually, life just showed up and I had a shoulder injury and I was put out of work for several months. And God just kind of showed up in my life. And a friend of mine who works at Ransom Recovery, um, mentioned that there was a spot open in a PRS class. And so as soon as I joined the PRS class, and ironically, at the time, I was already contemplating what, where I wanted my life to go. The kind of work I was doing um, was causing a lot of physical damage. So anyways, I joined this PRS class and just instantly loved it. I, I knew I found my people. Um, I knew I was being called to help others, which I've already been doing um, throughout my life. But that class is what kind of got and built this inspiration and excitement for a career again that I don't know if I've actually ever felt. Um, and I don't know. It was just this really big blessing. And because of that PRS class that I thoroughly enjoyed, the next step was to finish my hours. Um, and I got offered a few positions. And for whatever reason, I held out. And then I ran into... A friend of mine um and she said to call jesse and so i called jesse and i met with him and um i already knew i already knew the first day that i wanted to intern here um and i remember the first day i was here and there was everyone was just saying hello and smiling and walking around like a big family and you get thrown into all kind of um uh scenarios is there anything that sticks out in your mind that you've learned but uh, so far interning here um, I think you can take the factual information that you learn from the PRS booklet, right? But it really um, is about the people and helping others. Um, I think the biggest thing is making sure that you keep your heart and your spirit open to the participants because that's the number one goal. So no matter how hectic it gets or how many different things are going on, each person that you come across feels seen, heard, and cared for. Um, because people are coming in very lost, very distraught, um, cleaning up the wreckage of their lives, and they really just need people to love them back to life. So honestly, I think the biggest thing and the most important thing is just how to spread that love and instill that hope back into them. I, I love that because that's that's kind of like our motto around here, man. Love people up when you can. And I mean, that's a lot of the reason why I chose this place too for the love. Um, now, uh, I know you've probably been asked to do a lot of things and you've been doing a lot. And I see you around here and you're busy, like super busy all the time. What what has the bulk of your internship like? What have you been doing so far here? Honestly, which everyone here, as I've been observing, wears a lot of hats. And um, and I think that's um, attributed, attributed to the teamwork vibe that's here. But the bulk of my work um, really is just a little bit of everything. Um learning how to do intake and bring someone in and onboard them to our services. Um, I remember within the first couple of days, we were picking someone up from Henrico County Jail and getting them acclimated to this program. Um, taking participants to appointments, um, helping them gain resources that will help and alleviate some stress off their plate so they can really focus on their recovery because they're building everything back from scratch. Um, learning how to peer recovery coach, and do that um, in a really loving and kind way to understand what they need and what will help them be successful. Um, other than that, I think it's just show up and and do whatever needs to be done at any given point and being flexible to um, just help out the team as a whole. Here, have you thought of any about like what's your next steps? So I'm actually a little over over halfway through my um, completing my hours. 
Um, I already have my bachelor's degree um, in art education, but because of this class and this internship, it solidified the fact that um, I want to go back to school. So several months ago, I applied to the graduate program for social work at VCU and got accepted. So um, I will slowly be transitioning out um, and um, working towards my graduate degree, which is pretty big deal for me. Um, and that way I can learn how to help others on an even deeper level. So that's awesome, Kim. Well, I, I want to thank you. And I, I want to say that like I've thoroughly enjoyed uh, the time that you spend here working together. I can uh, say without any hesitation that you're a real teammate. Thank you. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Kim. Thank you so much, Travis.